Well, how do you do? Now, last week I told you, here I am, that I would tell you how we could make cooling with steam. We're going to do that. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about the steam jet on Steam Culture. All right, so I got on the Google, did some homework about how they cooled these rail cars. Now, initially, they brought these huge blocks of ice in, set them up under the cars in refrigerated blocks, and blew a fan over it, and just blew the cold air into the rail cars. They also had a very successful system, which is the subject of today's steam culture, called steam injection system. Now, a steam injection system involves using the velocity of the steam to create a vacuum. When that vacuum is created, it lowers the boiling temperature of the water so that it boils really fast. So as the steam comes through quickly, lowers the pressure, it boils off the water and it leaves you with basically 50 degree water. That water was then pumped to a coil, just like a regular HVAC system, and it would blow cold air through. Now, the water that was in the system would come back and it would go through that process all over again. Now this system is still used today in a lot of different industrial applications, but it's based on a system called Bernoulli's Principle. So, there you have it, the steam injection system showing how we use steam to heat rail cars, but we also used it to cool it. So, go out and Google steam injection system. I think you'll find it interesting. Lots of application in today's uh, working industrial world. So, thanks for joining me this week on Steam Culture. Join me next week. I have something for you. Come find us on social media because we know that we're everywhere. I will see you next Friday.